Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters, and today is Saturday, March 5th, down here on the Mid Island Bay side. Checking out the scene here. Gonna share with you guys an updated fish report for the local Long Beach Island area. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a great short winter. Uh, it was pretty good to see we had a very mild um, month of February. We kind of kicked things off here in March with already some good fishing. Uh, if you haven't been hearing what's been going on, we had uh, striped bass, winter flounder, and perch all being caught. So it's great to see those three primary early spring species here um, and active. Uh, just today we had our first weigh-in of the season from striped bass. Uh, Paul Lindsay checked in a 29-incher. Uh, he caught it at the mid down bay side on uh, Bloodburn. Uh, he had some really good fishing uh, today, yesterday, and recent days since opening day. Uh, if you want an updated fish report on that um, side of things, check out fishinglbi.com. Posted a blog there just yesterday with uh, some photos and some details. Uh, but he won the $100 store gift certificate uh, here at Fisherman's Headquarters for the first weigh-in of the year. Um, he actually was generous enough to donate it to the Southern Regional High School Fishing Club. Uh, so we're giving that to those guys to support the club. Uh, we also did the uh, past fishing flea market in February, which is a great event every year. Uh, that also supports the club too. So it's uh, stoked to see um, you know, Paul donate it and be so generous um, with his winning there. Um, we are looking at some somewhat of favorable conditions here today. As you see behind me in the bay, it's nice light uh, winds, real calm conditions. Uh, and anglers are getting out and catching some fish. Uh, reported on the Fishing LBI blog that I posted yesterday, there are some winter flounder being caught. Dave Moores uh, is fishing more of the northern section of the Barnegat Bay. Uh, got into some winter flounder fishing. Heard some other reports as well. Uh, some good, some bad. Uh, a couple guys fishing the bay side and ship bottom. Uh, had nothing to share. They, they went out and kind of struck out, but there's definitely winter flounder around. Uh, there's some reports being caught. If you want to get some bloodworms, we've got them now in stock. Some beauties from Maine. Expecting some more here in the next couple days. Uh, we've got some chum. Get out there, chum them up, and fish some worms. You should have some action. Uh, definitely look towards the later afternoons, uh, the sunnier days. That's most of the time when you'll see some better activity in the springtime season. Fish that are on the cold side, look to those sunnier, warmer days. Uh, they kind of get a little out of that lethargic state that they've been in all winter and they start feeding. Uh, normally in the, winter, in the uh, winter time, you know, those fish sort of migrate, hibernate. Um, I'm sorry, they, they, they start, sort of hibernate and uh, get less active. Uh, when those metabolisms start up, they start looking for the softer baits like clams and bloodworms first. Uh, most time on those warmer days, they'll get a little more active and then it's when you'll have the better success to target them. Uh, as far as the striped bass fishing goes, we've heard some reports from the Barnegat Bay, west side of the bay, some early season spots. Uh, also here in Long Beach Island, the Bayside spots. Um, hopefully you'll start hearing some more reports from down in the south and Tuckerton area. Uh, the rivers and creeks, definitely the place to look first and foremost. Uh, docks and lights and bridges and things like that would also be productive early season. Um, if you're looking to get in the perch scene, we do not stock live grass shrimp. Um, if you need those, we, we do sell some shrimp nets. You can you know, uh, scrape the bulkheads like the one I'm uh, at right here. And there's grass shrimp on the docks and bulkheads and pilings you can catch yourself. Uh, other than that, small, we sell some small little jigs, some little micro grubs, um, and also uh, live bloodworms, always been a great bait for them. Uh, we also stock Dynabait, which is a freeze-dried bloodworm, also a great early season um, bait to fish when you don't have the access to the live bloods, or maybe you need the more of a convenience. Uh, you don't want to keep them refrigerated, you want to kind of throw them in your bag and have them for a couple days. Uh, the freeze-dried live bloods from Dynabait are a game changer. Definitely stop by Fisherman's Headquarters, check those out. They're uh, $5.99 for a package. They definitely get you through a good fishing session. Um, once again, it's great at Fisherman's Headquarters. Appreciate all the feedback on the reports last year. So I'll try to keep them going this year too. I was just actually at the Atlantic City Boat Show yesterday, uh, helping out Schwag with his fluke fishing seminar, and also stopped by the Beach Haven Charter Fishing Association's booth. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but they do a uh, junior mates program and they're actually building some reefs um, stop by to try to help them get some interest to their booth and get some people signed up uh, if you guys are attending the Lanxy boat show today or tomorrow be sure to stop by their booth uh, feel free to donate five dollars or more to go to the, the great cause that these guys are doing uh, if you're not aware of what's happening they spent a hundred thousand dollars last year and sunk a tug and also a barge right here off new jersey on the, on the local artificial reefs they right now have 60 uh, reef balls, like big concrete igloo looking balls that are coming up from um, Florida. They bought them, they're coming up. Uh, they need to pay for the transport and also need to pay for the deployment of getting them out there. Uh, so your donations of $5 or more are greatly appreciated to support the cause. Uh, here at Fisherman Tech Wars, we're, we're donating some money. 
Um, we're also gonna have hopefully some reef balls out in front of the shop to kind of raise awareness for it. So be on the lookout for those this season and um, appreciate your generosity if you guys are getting into it. Uh, if you're interested in doing it and you're not going to AC Boat Show, uh, check them out on Instagram, Beach Haven Charter Boat Fishing Association, or go to their website. Just give a quick Google and you'll find them. You can do a quick, easy uh, PayPal donation to them. If you're generous enough to send, spend $500, um, you would actually get your own reef ball, your own coordinates, and your own name to them, uh, which is kind of a cool, unique uh, kind of thing that they got going on. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Once again, it's Gregory Fisherman's Headquarters. Appreciate all the great feedback and support. Have a great day.